Hi, developers. Today, we are going to walk you through how to profile models in Qualcomm AI Hub. Profiling models refers to understanding how the model executes on a specific hardware. For example, how many cycles does an operator takes to execute, total inference time, including forward propagation, and more. This video will cover everything you need to do before you start profiling models. We'll take a closer look at the Qualcomm AI Hub workflow, and we'll show you step by step on how to submit a profiling job, view profiling job specifics in Qualcomm AI Hub, and view performance metrics. Before we get started, let's create an account on the Qualcomm AI Hub portal. Once the account is created, you can start configuring your machine to submit, compile, and profile jobs. The second thing you need to do is to install Qualcomm AI Hub Python packages on your machine via pip. Once the installation is complete, configure the installation of QAI Hub package with the API token from the Qualcomm AI Hub account portal. More details on installing and configuring Qualcomm AI Hub Python packages can be found here. Before we get into details, let's take a high-level look at the Qualcomm AI Hub workflow. Users can submit jobs to perform specific tasks in Qualcomm AI Hub, including compiling, optimizing, profiling, or even inferencing. Users can submit these jobs via Python APIs. To get started with compiling or optimizing, upload a PyTorch or Onyx model for compilation in Qualcomm AI Hub. This step will compile or optimize the uploaded model. The compile job requires you to select a runtime such as TF Lite or QNN. You must also select a device or SOC so appropriate optimizations may be applied during this step. Output of a compile job is an optimized model based on the runtime and hardware selected. This optimized model can then be submitted for a profiling job. Profiling job benchmarks the model on a device, which is provisioned from a device farm in the cloud, and returns performance stats, such as average inference times, runtime configuration, layer level analysis, and more. Let's now get into the details by looking at a simple example on how to submit compile and profiling jobs using Qualcomm AI Hub APIs. In this example, we'll use MobileNet v2 model from PyTorch and profile it on the Qualcomm Technologies hardware using Qualcomm AI Hub. The first step is to import the QAI Hub Python package. Next, let's retrieve the pre-trained model. Before we can submit the model for compilation, we need to trace the model using PyTorch JetTrace API. Now, we can submit the JetTrace Torch model to Qualcomm AI Hub. In this example, we submit a compile job for Qualcomm RB3 Gen 2 platform. As you can see in this example, we are using TFLite as runtime, 
and Qualcomm RB3 Gen2 as our hardware. We'll use Qualcomm AI-Hub's hub.submit-compile-job API to submit the compilation job. This step will return a unique job ID. In addition, Qualcomm AI-Hub Python package will provide the link to the job in the Qualcomm AI-Hub portal. After the compile job is completed, that is, model is optimized, we can retrieve the optimized model from compile job. We'll use hop.submitProfileJob API to submit this optimized model for profiling on the device with the Qualcomm RB3 Gen2. Similar to compile job, a unique job ID is returned, and the job gets created in Qualcomm AI Hub portal for viewing. Executing code provided in the previous step downloads the MobileNet v2 model, and then G-traces it. A compile job gets submitted first, and compile job ID will be returned. Upon completion of the compile job, we can use the optimized model to submit a profiling job. A unique job ID gets returned along with the link. We can click on the link or copy-paste into a favorite browser Once logged in, you will see following tabs, Compile, Profile, and Inference. If you want to look at the compilation job, click on Compile to navigate to the compile job page. For a specific compile job, click on the specific job ID. The same goes for profiling jobs. In the Profile tab, you will see previously submitted profiling jobs. Select the appropriate job ID to view job-specific details. When the status for the job says, results ready, a benchmarking job is spawned on a selected device and performance tests will be captured. Once the status says, results ready, click on the job ID to view job-specific details. On this page, you can find details such as name of the optimized TI flight model, target device information, and runtime details, such as TensorFlow Lite version, and more. Profiling job information includes key performance details, such as average inference time, estimated peak memory usage, and hardware resources utilized during the profiling, such as how many layers executed NPU, GPU, or CPU. You can also find details about initialization times in subsequent runs and the average time it takes to perform as an inference. Another feature includes runtime layer analysis. Basically, this tells you how much time is spent at each layer, which can be very useful to understand performance bottlenecks within model execution. Finally, let's look at runtime configuration, which provides details on runtime. In this example, we use TFLI runtime with Qualcomm AI Engine Direct Delegate and GPU Delegate. The details provide how many threads were used, how QNN and GPU delegates were configured, and more. These details will be helpful to reproduce the same level of performance when developing for commercialization. In this video, we looked at how we can compile optimize and submit an optimized model for profiling in Qualcomm AI Hub. We also looked at how to view a profiling job and details provided by Qualcomm AI Hub within a profiling job. For more details, please visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching.